Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. A new show about training. Little mini zebu heifer, Sela. We have trained her and showed you in the past in videos how we trained her to pick up her legs for the farrier. And we've shown you how we trained her to back with verbal command, both of which she does very nicely now. But you know, there's a whole lot more to learn and the more we work with her, uh, the more handleable she'll be. And there's all the tack that she's going to learn about. Over there, a little lead line saddle with a doll on top for now, but someday it can be a kid because, uh, you know, if it's a, a small enough child, um, little Sela's close to 500 pounds now, she can, she can handle it. So we can have some fun just doing some lead line saddle work. Then in front of the lead line saddle is our beautiful uh, wooden yoke that Sela is going to learn how to um, handle on her neck. And it's going to be used to help us to teach Sela how to pull. Uh, she's going to be uh, pulling uh, farm implements, uh, logs, uh, training uh, simulators for now, just so that she knows that uh, she can be asked to uh, do some work around here. And in addition to the beautiful yoke, we have uh, some uh, nylon and uh, leather and simulated leather tack, such as a surcingle, britchen, uh, and uh, all kinds of clasps and chains to help uh, Sela learn how to pull things. So the purpose of today's introduction is just to show you what's ahead for the training program for little Sela. We also use a single trees that we make here at Shadrach Farms made out of PVC or ABS with hardware you can get at any hardware store. Uh, and um, we have, let me show you uh, up here behind Angela, we have some items that uh, we can pull down and have her pull, like even a real log that has fallen off a tree that we set up with uh, some hardware and ropes. And um, here on the side of the, what we call our cart shed, is in fact our homemade double yoke that we made out of conduit and PVC. And we have a couple shows on the Urban Cowgirl channel that shows you how we made these in our garage. And we have several shows that shows you how we taught Sela next to her mother Susie, how to wear that double yoke and pull some things. Uh, but now it's a time for Sela to learn how to do things as an individual. Uh, notice her horns are, I'd say maybe an inch and a half, two inches long. Uh, if you look back at the shows when she was uh, being trained with her mom, you couldn't even see her horns. So she's growing up beautifully. She's uh, improving in uh, handling beautifully. And uh, recently on my miniature Zebu Digest, I've noticed that uh, Zebu, mini Zebu owners are getting concerned about using tables for their Zebus because there's this syndrome called bloat that can be quite dangerous uh, unpleasant for everybody involved um, when a, a mini zebu gets stressed and is put on the side of their body for the trimmer to trim or the vet to uh, handle. Uh, I've never uh, heard of that syndrome, I'm sure glad, because one of the reasons I think I haven't heard about it is because I've never tried to lay my zebus down on a table and tilt the table. Instead, I've taught them using um, natural horsemanship, and I call it bovine ship principles, to teach them how to do things and respond to things and accept things without stressing themselves. And then we all have a much more pleasant time handling them and asking them to help us 
get some work done around here. So uh, here we are, uh, ready to go as soon as we have the time and the staff to not only uh, teach Sila all the tack, but to negotiate some of these obstacles that we have set up here at Shadrach Farms. And while Angela was waiting for me, um, she actually uh, asked Sila to do some things. Uh, and so I'm going to let Angela tell you uh, what uh, Sila did and didn't do for her. Go ahead, Angela. Well, we went through the L very easily, and we did the step up. And at first she was a little hesitant to step up onto the wood, but she did it. She was very willing. We went both directions, and then we went through the water bucket, the barrels, and she did that very nicely. She got very excited towards the end and wanted to go quickly through them. <laughs> okay, all right, now I hope you could hear all of that. So the L was done first. This is just made up of uh, vinyl rails uh, hooked together with hardware. And then the, uh, the step up, you mean the big steps. Yeah. Okay, that can be a challenge for any horse. Um, uh, did she actually went up the second step? We just did the first step. Just the first step. You see that the steps are big and then get bigger and higher. Uh, and then there's quite a drop off at the other end. So that's a challenge. And then the barrels are great. They're half filled with water so they don't tend to fall over. You can uh, serpentine around them forward and backward. Uh, over there, I'm sure we'll eventually be able to teach Sela how to do that. Uh, where you see the quail, I think it's a quail, <laughs> is a teeter-totter. And uh, we've taught all our horses to do it. And it's a little bit uh, stressful when they reach the fulcrum and the, the totter totters. In other words, it's like a bridge that moves. So we've got uh, so many obstacles here we can deal with. Um, and uh, ask Sila to accept and uh, to negotiate. And then we sure have some work to do around here at our li little urban rural ranch here in Santa Cruz. And uh, my Morgan horses help, help me maintain it. And Sila's mother and father, uh, Susie and Rusty, help me maintain it. And I have many programs on the Urban Cowgirl channel showing you how we train them to do it. And now it's Sela's turn to do it. And we'll show you in a multiple part series about the training of mini zebu heifer Sela. Lead line saddle around the barrels. Here's our next session. We're gonna put the lead line saddle on Sela. Now, when we first walked up to her with the lead line saddle, she backed off. She thought that was some kind of a monster, so we're letting her investigate, and boy, is she investigating. And still, putting it on her back is a whole nother story. So we're, we're letting you see every step of the way here. We're gonna put the lead line saddle on and then maybe take her for a walk, hopefully around the barrels. Yeah, she's saying, oh my goodness, I gotta get out of here. Okay, Angela, this is part of the training, so let's see what you can do. Now I'm going to try to get this on video. How do you get these guys to have confidence in you? Good girl. Good girl, Sheila. Good girl, Sheila. Easy. Easy? Yeah. Easy now. Easy now. Boy, we could use another person here at the camera. Easy now. I would do this. Take, put your hand on her collar mm -hmm. and restrain her a little bit. Let her know that this is restraint, that she's got to listen to you. Now she might get, yeah, whoa, oh yeah, this is, whoops. I even lost the leash. Okay, here, Angela, let me have the saddle. We got to go get her again. She's trying to get to the safety of her mom. See, and I did train Sila about a year ago with um, with her mom by her side and boy she wasn't anything like this and I just see another one of my helpers here nearby I'm gonna ask him to help us so I'm gonna turn off the camera for a moment all right now Scott is helping us he's got more strength than Angela or I so um, we kind of want you to hold on with one hand on the on the lead line which is just a dog leash and the other hand on her collar 
she's got to learn that um, she can't get away and, and letting her get away like that was a, a bad experience for her because she thinks that's the right answer. Okay, why don't you, uh, let's move her over there in the grass where Angelo was. Okay, and Angela, now we're going to desensitize again. I'm going to try to keep the camera on you. Desensitize means get her to realize it is not going to hurt her. She has tremendous peripheral vision. She absolutely sees you, Angela. Cows, from my experience, have better peripheral vision than horses. Okay, she's going to start dancing around now, Scott. Especially when she feels it on her back. They don't like things on their back. Okay. Yeah, good, good. Hold her. Let her know that, no, she. the right answer is not to run away. Good, Angela. Let her know that, yes, that this is going to feel good, actually. And then you're going to connect that brown thing somehow to the other side. The, the brown nylon strap. And Scott, you don't let her go if you can help it, but of course safety is number one for both you and her. This is just a lightweight, comfortable little lead line saddle. I'm a little bit worried about it flipping under her belly. Yeah, so um, yeah, you can't make it uh, tighter, but you know we could. Let's... Uh, Let's stop the camera again, and we're going to uh, connect it, you know what, uh, to, okay, hold her, hold her, you guys, yeah, you just uh, go ahead and, and uh, desensitize her. I'm going to find a way that we can uh, make that safer, uh, and I'm going to leave the camera on, and you tell us what you're doing and what you're feeling, Angela, and remember to turn around and look at the camera since we don't have mics on, okay. and speak uh, loudly. Good, good. I'm just trying to keep her comfortable and relaxed and letting her know that we're here for her and her buddies and that this isn't a scary thing. It's just something she should get used to. She's doing very good. Very nice. Good girl, Sila. I have quite a uh, collection of dog collars in my cart shed because like I said, we've worked with Sela and Susie before, a few months ago. So I'm going to try to use something like, like uh, this is like a breast collar, right? That's what we want. We don't want this thing falling off. So I'm going to use this uh, nylon dog collar that is going to connect here to a rope. Okay. And then I'm going to come around. Yeah. And, uh, okay, let me see how we can connect that. We make do here. I'm going to walk around here. It's all right, Sila. Try not to scare her. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, I'm just connecting with a, a light knot here against the handle of the lead line saddle. Okay. Okay, I think that's okay. Now, let's see, Angela, if you can ask her by coming in the front here, because remember, we've t taught her how to back, and she's a real champ at backing now compared to what she first wouldn't do for us. See if you can back her a little bit. Let, let Scott hold on to her. See, let's back. Oh, make it an arm extension. Oh, sure. Arm extensions, wonderful tools. And we have little pieces of PVC everywhere. Keep in mind that this lead line saddle is uh, lightweight and that doll represents a child, a lightweight child that if we can get Sela s safe enough, we might be able to give some fun here to some kids. Okay, see if you can back her now. Be, back. be real. Back. 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 Good. 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 Girl, the slightest that. right answer and we say good, wonderful. Yes, and we have treats. We have no reservations in using treats during our training. Very good. She's going to start looking forward. Let's do another back one more time. Sheila, back, back, back. Good. Girl. Isn't that an improvement, Angela? <laughs> Remember when we first started that training? Okay, now 
I'll tell you what, we still want Kyle's uh, strength, so you just walk along as a join up. Okay. Let's see if we can get Sela over to those barrels. We're in the sun now, she's calm. Um, it's pretty, you can see where you're stepping. Let, let, let Angela lead you and you, you follow Angela. Okay, Angela, go along on the right side of that tree. Try to stay, go ahead. Try to stay on ground that is uh, not full of potholes. Good, good, good. And you know what? We were thinking of maybe backing around the barrels today, but I'd say that we're going to just forward. G and ha around the barrels. Step up, G and ha. That's all we want to do today. And I'm bringing the camera closer. Here we go again. We're close to the barrels now. Angela's going to lead the way. Come on, Sheila. Step up. We really expect this to get easier and easier every time we do it. This is the first time we've done it. So I'm actually quite thrilled so far, other than the fact that we let her get away when we first started the lesson, not realizing how strong she was and that we really needed three people. We actually can use two lead lines in the future if we're concerned. Got G means right, Ha means left. Uh-oh, that's a wide turn. We <laughs> wanted a, a little more flexion. G? G is right, Ha is left. She's gonna learn all those words. Come on back, however you can, back to the barrels. Don't let her go. Angela, you wanna go help? Sela yeah. knows Angela better than she knows Scott. Look at that, look at that. And that is not a good note of resolution. We've got to get her back to the barrels, willing to G and haw around them. <laughs> Angela, here, take this black dog leash, put it on her, on her uh, halter, and uh, you, both of you, I'll take the, lead line, uh, the uh, arm extension, both of you guide her. We show you here everything that works and doesn't work. We Step show up. you the good and the bad. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good, girl. good girl. When she is good like that, stop for a minute. Let her think about it. Yes. Give her a reward. Yes. Very nice. And here's a carrot. <laughs> okay. Give her a carrot. Oh, that came loose. Okay. Back around. We'll do that better next time. I just don't like it when saddles, even just a lead line saddle, uh, goes under the belly. It can be real frightening to a, an animal. I've had it happen with horses. So we always use breast collars. There you go. Okay. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. That's better. Not as much resistance. Go ahead. Step up and G up. around that barrel. Step up G. Step up G. Good. Good. And if she gives you a few right steps, good steps without a lot of stress, you stop and give her a reward. You will see uh, as we proceed in these uh, training lessons for Sila, you will see that she most definitely improves. I am confident she will. And we take tiny baby steps when necessary. I actually am pleased that she hasn't had scours yet. When she get uh, when they get really stressed, the zebus, then they'll have diarrhea. Easy. Easy now. Yeah, we talk to them. Another G turn. Try to stay close to that barrel. The barrels have water in them, so they're not likely to flip over. Water with uh, bleach, so it, it doesn't get algae. Good. Now I, uh, oh, not, not good, bad answer. Okay, so we have to, we have to put her back on track. Step up. Just a couple steps. If she does well, you stop and Ooh. pet her. Good, good. Step up. 
good concealer. Much it's better. Nice. Much better. And you know what? That was so good. I'm going to call, uh, if you agree, that that it will be our moment of resolution because, look, she's standing square. She's not looking stressed. She's blinking her eyes. She's, ah, uh, now she's licking her lips and she's <laughs> getting petting, uh, which I'm sure she likes. And look what else she's going to get. There you go. Well, yeah. And if my zebus get really stressed, they won't even eat a carrot. So you can see, <laughs> she's eating her carrot. And that's all for today. Our session with Sela and the lead line saddle around the barrels. Another session with Sela, mostly just a tack fitting session. Today we're gonna put on our beautiful yoke. It's a single yoke. And then behind it is a couple different sur singles that we've used in the past. We'll choose one and make sure it fits okay. Uh, and then if we get to it today, I'm not sure, we'll put on one of the sets of britchen that are here. And uh, that will be the most challenging of all. I can guarantee you that. They just don't like that feeling of something on their back. Although Sila has felt it in the past, uh, you will see, Angela, just touch her on the back. Very gently touch her on the back. Do you see how she quivers? Um, we've noticed that all, for a long time now with our zebus. We think that's just a natural reaction to my back is the most vulnerable place of all to uh, predators. If they jump on my back, you know, I am probably no longer safe. So I think that that's why that nerve reaction, that quiver happens. And needless to say, especially when we put the britchen on, we're touching that part of her back. So we're going to take this tiny baby steps at a time. Then if we get anywhere today and want to take them for a walk, here's where we're going to walk. We're going to walk to our big steps, which is straight ahead here. Now Angela in the past has had Sela on the shorter, the smaller, the least high step. Uh, but we're ready now. We even put some non-slip paint on it. We're ready for the top step. It's quite a jump or a step up for her and then quite a jump down. So we'll see what kind of concerns she has about that trail obstacle. It's really just a matter of getting her to understand what the right answer is, getting her confident in us, getting her willing to do things for us. And I think if she's confident and not worried about her safety, she'll be fine. Now, how do we make things happen around here? Well, we think about having the right tack, and we think about having arm extensions. And I was walking through my garage, and this is a piece of uh, pipe that was on one of my shelves as a leftover. It almost looks like a small, it's a conduit, great conduit, like, like a small cane. And it's really easy to hold on to because it's got a handle. And then it will be easy, we think, to reach with or tap her on the breast with. And so that's what we're going to use today to help us um, and to explain to Sela what we want from her. So now with the camera on us, I'm going to go and start putting things on while Angela holds her. Now Angela has never put these things on her so she's going to watch and then she's gonna Angela's going to be able to do this in the future because needless to say we'll need a lot of repetition so getting the camera set up here so that we can see the whole scene okay here we go it's all right Sila oh, right away she gets concerned uh, this is a very beautiful wooden yoke that I uh, purchased from the East Coast a long time ago. Um, it's a little bit heavy though. Uh, so, but I think seal is big enough now to tolerate. You want to hold this arm extension. Watch how it works. It's got a U uh, neck piece. was put in wrong come to think of it let me see what's going to happen now it's got a clip you pull out two leather washers it's been a while since i've put this on i almost have to rethink it 
always try to wear something that has easy access pockets so I can put things away and I just drop the U, the U piece. Okay, now I know that these hooks are great for attaching things that you want to pull or attaching extra chains or, or straps. Yeah, now this is the way we want it. Okay, this is going to go under her neck, and this is going to go over her neck, and that might be quite a challenge. It's all right. Investigation, let her smell it. She's so cute. Yeah, good girl. Can you pull it and very gently? See, she's going to be concerned. I don't blame her. Now look, it's up high. Her eyes are bulging. She's saying, what are you doing with that thing? It's all right. Get a rubber here. Get the U piece. It's all right. It's all right. Coming down very slowly. She might jump when I actually put the weight on her. No, she didn't. It's all right. Now I've got to try to. Easy now. Easy now. doing okay so far. Good girl. Good girl. She's got to do some work someday. The washers. This clip. Actually, I'm going to put the clip lower. Can you help me pull it out? Yeah. See, it's got holes here so that we can size it. Oh, you can see I haven't used that hole yet. Now I'm going to put it back up here. Okay, and let it go down. See the the U bow is a little bit too low here. Okay, try to keep it balanced. But I'll have to d drill through those holes which were provided. Okay, now. I'm choosing one of my nylon or singles. This one has a nice double buckle cinch strap. Let her investigate. Anything you do with livestock, try to see the world the way they see it and give them a chance to see it in such a way that they understand it and are not afraid of it. She's even looking, licking it. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go behind her hump. Very good, very good, which means I have to go a little bit high. Very good, she might run. Good, good. Remember, she's had this on when she was a tiny, but she was standing next to her mother. And she had a whole lot more confidence when her mother was next to her. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com.